back to the next video so this will be a quick video about uh, again uh, locators in uh, selenium web automation so here you can see i have just done the initial setup for now and what i am doing is i am trying to uh, click on this calendar and after that i am trying to select the current date uh, so if you uh, selecting the calendar is easy but selecting the current date if you check over here you can see that uh, you get a class like this okay so ui state default ui state highlight that's what i am passing over here ui state default ui state highlight but there were two classes right and if you are using css selector you have to make sure you have add dot because it is a class and also add dot before you pass the second class so this is important next i am just uh, clicking on this uh, radio button of uh, one way round trip and one way uh, now here if you check the return date it is disabled by default right but you are able to click it so if you uh, try to go to the css over here okay so suppose if i and if you click on round trip it will get enabled so just uh, see over here like the display block and opacity of it so if i click on round trip you can check the opacity becomes one if i click on one way the opacity becomes 0.5 okay so uh, so to check whether the button is enabled or disabled like even though the button is uh, you are able to click on the button even if it is disabled so if you have such a case whether to check whether the button is enabled or not you can just uh, uh, select the div by its class name then get the attribute of style now the style will contain everything uh, this display block opacity colon 0.5 or opacity colon 1 1 so i'm just checking whether it the style contains one or not if it contains one that means it is enabled okay so that's how the logic is written over here uh, so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye